Hello guys, Maxilla Gaming here, and I'm finally doing it. I'm playing LSD Dream Emulator. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. I don't, I didn't know what I thought that was. It looked like a massive man. One second. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I thought that was a massive man. I, I am on the edge of my seat right now. I don't know if you guys think this is scary or weird. No, I, I know you guys think this is weird. This game is weird. That's just the the common sense of the of the game. But what people find to be disturbing and what other people find to be mundane are two completely different things. I am completely lost. The water is flashing. Epileptic seizure warning. And the sound effects are getting louder. Oh my god. Why am I hearing this? Fishing sound effects. It's actually... It's too much. I need to turn my game volume down or something. This is really loud. I don't... I don't know how to get to that bridge. Oh, there's a bridge over here. Double rainbow. Oh, it's a double rainbow. Oh, the sound of the squeaky bridge is not pleasant to my ears. This game is really loud. Oh my god. <laughs> Every moving thing that pops up onto my screen teleport over the gap. Every moving thing that appears on my screen just jumps me. I'm so on edge right now. I'm right now expecting like one of those supreme jump scares where an image flashes and screams on my screen, but I know that's not this kind of game. Or maybe it is. What if this is not the original LSD tree emulator that I installed. What if they modded it to have actual jump scares like that? I can never trust anything, not even on the internet. Okay, I'm, ba I'm back at the hub world. But not in the building. So when you walk, when you. St when you get to the stairs, it forces you to walk on the stairs. I'm gonna keep going up. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. I hate these cubicles. Because I, I'm, I'm going to turn and something's going to be there. And I don't want to be scared the fuck out of by something that's just sitting there. Okay, this isn't so bad. What happens if I walk through here? The one million door room. Truly a spectacle. Which door should I take? How about... Oh god! I actually didn't expect the room to, <laughs> to do that. I don't remember that happening. Uh, where am I? The same place as before but with white lines on the ground. Like I'm on a baseball field or something. Oh, but there's the city, the bad city. I don't want to go to the bad town. I think I think it's actually called Bad Town in the community. 
and it's I think that's where the gray man most commonly pops up that's the antagonist again oh god day's over oh and that's like as mundane as you can get right <sighs> that really didn't feel mundane or actually I think all the way static would be mundane as fuck but it really didn't feel mid tier These sounds. Oh, the, the dragon's not there this time. The, it sounds like the, the honking is getting louder and closer. I don't want to be in here. What happened to the bookshelves? Take me. Where do they take me? In here again. What does the statue that I spawned in front take me? Oh god. This is the silly music. Oh, and that's the gray man! <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? He flashed me. Is he still following me? Is that... I think after he flashes me, he's gone. And then my... My, my everything gets worse. Love. Is that the marching of the men? Yes, it is. This place. Yeah, how can you say this game is not creepy? I was just attacked by that thing. The, 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 the thing. And what are these marching... Trapezoids. I think the gray man is actually gone. This would be quite the place to have a dream in. Okay, I'm just gonna quietly walk out. There's a bird. Or... Yes, that's an actual bird. I was thinking it was a pterodactyl or something, but it's like a... It's like a large osprey or something. I don't know birds. Other with a large wingspan. Ooh. Where am I going now? Some mysterious unknown land, and my footsteps are really, really annoying. Oh. And that's just slightly more dynamic. Day seven, that's the first week. If, if I dreamt like this every night for seven days, I would, and it was super vivid, and I was terrified every night. Dude, some creepy pasta better be happening. I, I would be in the Russian Sea experiment. I don't know. I, I would not sleep, and I would go insane, like that creepy pasta details. And I would probably end up killing myself. I wouldn't want to live life every time I close my eyes I'm in this world. Unless I get to a point where I can control it fully. To actually be in this world is one thing. 
different than to, than to play the game and, and watch it on YouTube. What is that? What is that? Like a UFO or a witch on a broom? Oh god, it's red. Red's not good. When is anything in this game truly good? I wonder if it's possible to have a perfect run on this game to never see a single bad thing. To know what you're doing exactly from the start, to get the perfect amount of RNG, and to just continue rolling with that, and to get nothing but positive, positive, upper, upper, whatever you call it, not day after day until the game's over, and not see the gray man, not see terrifying things. Yeah, no to you today, pal. Let's keep going. Oh god. That's a face on that wall. I'm tempted to touch it or go near it. Oh god, it's looking at me. Did I collect it? Is that a collectible? I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to go through that hole. Or that tunnel I meant to say. So that's the hand. Can I walk to the hand? I, hand, take me. Take me to some good place. Well, with the white light glow, I thought this was gonna be some place that wasn't red. No, I'm sadly mistaken. I think if you touch water, you, you die instantly. When you die in the game, the, the day ends. So, it's falling off the cliff. Touching water or standing still, breathing air, breathing air kills you, okay? That's just how the game is sometimes. Let's go on to the next day. something exhilarating about being scared. So, I do have to admit. It's not something that I, I enjoy. Or thrive for. I got people like horror films. Or Halloween. Like actual like scary shit. I'm not talking about trick or treating. Obviously that's, that's like weak shit that's like baby stuff like like literally I don't know where I'm going oh yeah that, that is pretty middle nothing happened but um yeah I'm not a horror person Five Nights at Freddy's I mentioned before it, that's a game that I've played and looked a lot into I I I thought it was scary, terrifying at first, but I mean, as everyone does, it, you get used to it extremely quickly, and it doesn't become scary at all, and it becomes extremely interesting lore-based game that's very unique and different, and then the kids turned it into cringe. Is this real music? 
that thing, whatever that thing is, is closer now. I wonder if it's coming closer right now. I'm just gonna move towards it again. And I get red. Oh my god, I should never have done that. Where am I? I'm on a building. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I just committed suicide. And I got the most downer ending you can get. One of the most downer endings you can get. Oh my god. I don't mean ending. Ending of a nine. It's not the... Oh, the game's over. Ending. Yep, that's what I meant. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> Day 11. Let's do this next time on Maxilla Gaming. Wait, one second. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? What is this? An enhanced cutscene? I do not know what we're watching. Kind of looks like a cool cartoon. It's kind of jazzy and snazzy. Looks like there's some rhyme and reason to it. It's not. This is like the most well put together sequence cartoon I've seen coming out of LSD Dream Emulator. Oh, and that was a knight, and that was downer. What the fuck? I don't even know. It seems like I'm watching this game a lot. I'm gonna go in just to pause it. Pause, yeah. Next time on Maxwell Gaming. Watch episode 3, okay.